Um, the main important thing, guys, I want to remind you with is when we're writing, it's asking us to write the equation of the line. When we're writing the equation of the line, remember the equation of the line that we're going to want to use um, for this is going to be slope-intercept form. All right. So when to write an equation in slope-intercept form, we have two basic tenets we need to figure out. What is the slope and what is the y-intercept? Right? So the thing that the information they give us is we want to write an equation of the line through a point, which they give us. And then that's parallel to y equals 3x minus 2. Now in this equation, we know that the slope is 3. And hopefully, if you guys remember in Algebra 2 and in geometry, you've talked about parallel lines. And parallel lines, we know that they do not have an intersection point, but also that their slopes are exactly the same. So if I need to write an equation, and I want that equation to be parallel to this equation, my new slope of my equation has to be 3. So we know that m has to equal 3. So I'll write y equals 3x plus b. Did I do point slope form as well with you guys? No. No? OK. So I'll do one in point slope form and one uh, using slope intercept form, because I think this is the way I went through last class with you guys. So now we know what the slope is, but we don't know what the y-intercept is. A lot of, some people will say, oh, it's negative 2. No, that's for this problem. We want to find an we want to write a new equation that has the same slope but goes through this point. So remember, this is a coordinate point, x and y. So if we want to find b, we can simply plug these points in for x and for y and solve for b. So in doing that, I get 12 equals 3 times negative 2 plus b. Does everybody see my substitution and what I did? OK, now I just need to find out what b is. So I basically will multiply. 3 times negative 2 is going to be negative 6. So 12 equals negative 6 plus b. Add 6, add 6, 18 equals b. So now we know b equals 18. If I have an equation of a line and I know what my slope is and I know what b is, can I write the equation of the line? Yeah, yeah absolutely. y equals 3x plus 18. That is an equation of a line that is parallel to that one. And it goes through that point. And that's what they're asking us to do. Bless you. Anybody have further questions on that? All right.